Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Wire, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good afternoon, everybody. Here we go. We're still talking about rain showers this midday. Uh, here's the deal. We've measured one inch of rain here at the station. Most areas all around the Wabash Valley today have put in and the emails I've got from you. Thank you for those and uh, checking uh, with the National Weather Service offices, both Illinois as well as Central Illinois and, and Indianapolis. Just about an inch of rain has fallen today. However, some areas since Sunday have put down four inches of rain essentially in four or five days. And so that's not necessarily good news. We've got more rain in the forecast for you this evening. No severe thunderstorm watch or warnings right now and I'll address the fact of the flooding the potential for flooding and what does this all mean last June we all remember that that was 10 inches of rain that fell in about 12 hours that was a different setup than what we've got right now we've just got scattered showers that are here every couple of days and this pattern's typical this time of year it's just not something that we ever really look forward to and these numbers are a little bit elevated from what we typically see this time of year so to answer the question as to what are we going to have move in as far as flooding how much more rain does it take before we really start to get into some serious uh, problems I don't know the answer to that, but it, I do know that it does warrant watching if these areas, the lowland areas that you know of that typically hold water, typically flood, keep an eye on them. We're going to continue to monitor it for you as well, and if we do start to see anything that really is alarming, we will let you know. In the meantime, this is area of rain number one. We're on the tail end of it right now, but we're not out of the woods just yet. Look at this. Plenty of cloud cover throughout central Illinois. You'll have some breaks in these clouds, some brief sunshine, but don't get excited because that's round number two. This round potentially could have some heavier thunderstorms within it because if we get some sunlight right now that'll elevate our temperatures, that'll elevate our instability, and that'll give us a better chance for some heavier thunderstorms tonight. Regardless, sun or no sun, the moisture's there. We've got about one inch of rain with this batch this morning, potentially another one inch with this rain trying to move in this evening. Temperatures are close to 70 degrees right now. We're still going to climb to about 75 as we get into the afternoon hours. How's this impacting the rivers? Well, just now we're starting to get some decent numbers in from the National Weather Service, and the rivers are going to go up a good four to five feet within just a couple of days. Now, still, they're not going to be at dangerous levels, but I tell you what, they're going to go up in a hurry. So if you live near nearby or deal with the river in some fashion. Montezuma going to be cresting on Sunday at six feet above flood stage, five and a half feet technically there along the Wabash River. Terre Haute, we're going to crest at under 20 feet. That's good news, but still above flood stage again on Monday. So it will be rising through the weekend. Plus more rain tonight will elevate these numbers as well. Hudsonville on Wednesday of next week. Riverton and Vincennes again cresting next week along the Wabash River. The Bowling Green over in Bowling Green on the Eel River, that's going to go up in a hurry. It's been up, it's been down, and it's going to go back up in a hurry, cresting at over 15 feet on Friday, still just below flood stage. White River, Sunday on uh, for both Spencer and Elliston next Monday in Edwardsport. These numbers again are going to go up. The river now just about nine feet in Spencer and on its way up. It's going to go up relatively quick. The Embraer River, not such a big deal in St. Marie right now. Lawrenceville going to crest over flood stage tomorrow. So let's again talk about what's going on with the rain today. These are the showers we're dealing with right now. Still a few isolated rain showers with some clouds over the next few hours mid-70s for temperatures, but we need to focus our attention this afternoon on this cold front here because after about 7 o'clock, we're going to find our heaviest rain again moving back in, and what that's going to do for us is potentially give us another inch of rain along this cold front. I know the kids have got baseball games. They've got t-ball. They've got what else going on outside. We've had a lot of these baseball games canceled as a result of some rain showers. If you've got those games this evening, potentially going to be canceled again and even tomorrow as well, but definitely check with your coach on that one. 75 degrees more rain, more thunderstorms tonight. Those rain showers will be possibly heavy at times, again giving us another inch of unwanted rain. That lasts into the overnight as well. 68 tomorrow, a little cooler. Winds will be behind the cold front out of the northwest. Still a few spotty areas of rain showers, but by all means, a better chance for rain this evening than during the day tomorrow. Rain looks to stall out near the Ohio River Saturday and Sunday. If that holds true, you get a dry weekend. If that comes a little farther to the north, we've got to change our Saturday and Sunday plans, but right now it looks like like a dry weekend before rain moves back in. <laughs>